The 2022 legislative session came to an end early this morning with cheers and celebration as it does traditionally, but some lawmakers tell us they were left in shock to see a bill aiming to ban transgender sports tucked into a bill just before midnight. They're calling foul on this process. They're hoping it will change. CBS 46's Haley Mason live for us at the state capitol with more. Haley. Rick, as we went through the evening yesterday, we thought that the transgender sports bill was dead this legislative session, much like the marijuana bill and the gambling bills that failed to pass through the legislature. But literally in the 11th hour, this bill came up inside another bill and lawmakers said they didn't even have time to read what was in front of them. Sign it off. As bills and calendars were tossed into the air, signaling the close of the legislative session, lawmakers yelled out signy die, celebrating the end of a long four months. But State Senator Sally Harrell was one of the Democrats dismayed and disappointed by what had happened minutes before. We were in a state of shock and, and awe, and I personally was in a, a moment of, of great sadness. Just before midnight, a move to ban transgender student athletes and traditional sports was quietly added to a bill that sought to ban divisive concepts in school. We tried very, very hard to get recognized by the lieutenant governor to speak, um, but uh, we were not recognized before the, the vote started being cast. Carol and other lawmakers say they never got a chance to even read that bill. There was no copy of the amendment put on our desks before the vote, so we couldn't even confirm. She's also the mother of a transgender child. The move is part of the Save Girl Sports Act, which didn't move forward in the legislative session. But this version now puts the decision to ban or allow transgender athletes in the hands of the Georgia High School Association, which governs school sports. Before the post midnight bill change, Governor Brian Kemp paid the lawmakers a visit, reminding them of priorities he's requested, including the transgender sports bill. Is the evening progresses, I'm looking forward to continuing the critically important conversation on the best ways to achieve an income tax cut for hardworking Georgians, on fairness in school sports, divisive concepts. The Speaker of the House referred to this as a compromise bill. I can see the Speaker's influence on this. He also said that he will ensure that this does not target our transgender children, and I will hold him uh, to accountability with that. The legislation now sits on the governor's desk. And now the bill sponsor, Marty Harbin, was not available to comment on what happened last night, but I did get a statement from the head of the GHSA saying to me, quote, I've not had time to assess the bill as it changed last night. At first glance, the GHSA will need to determine if they believe this is an issue that needs a bylaw clarification that goes beyond the current policy of accepting member schools gender determination. And now we know that this bill is now on the governor's desk. It will then be up to him to sign it as he has indicated he plans to do. Reporting outside of the state capitol, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News. Still ahead at 6, 